Hello, reformers, and welcome back to the memory of Elderim. Now, when we left off, the game had no character customization, and now it does. So I thought we would just take a quick look at the character customization, and then we would get back into the game and see where our quest leads next. So. As we see here, we have obviously a choice between two genders. We'll pick a male for this, and as you see, we can customize the hair, and we can make it any color we so desire. Oh yes, look at that. We can make it red, we can make it blue, we can make it purple. Sounds good to me. We can actually cycle through different hairstyles as well, as you see. And, well, that sounds pretty good to me. And we also have a couple of different choices for eyes. Look at the... wow. The choices are very, very nice. As you see, you can have purple eyes if you so desire. Oh, not too bad. We can also change our skin color as well. So if we want to be a magic elf, then we can. If we want to be a Christmas elf, then we can. That sounds good to me. Well, whatever the case, we can also change it so that we're darker and lighter. If we want to be a bright yellow, then we can do that. So there's a couple of the customization options that you can look forward to in the memory of Elderim now. Obviously that is a lot better than having a default character and it bonds you a little bit more to your experiences in the game. So I very much appreciate their work on that. And so, let us now continue with our character, Reformist. I hear he's a great guy. We're going to be making sure that we complete all of our quests in good time. And we're going to try to be as helpful as possible, of course. Now, I have not played this for quite some time, unfortunately enough. And we're going to get back into this. Hopefully, I will be able to remember and indeed do reasonably well at the combat. Obviously, we're going to be starting off here once again. We do have the amazing visuals to look at once more as well. I mean, just look at that. Look at that water. Absolutely fantastic. So, yes, we are going to be sprinting and getting up here, and I think I'm actually going to cut away because I need to make our way over to the settlement once again. Okay, so having just slain our first bandit in quite some time, I think I have actually come across the place where we need to go, and that is the crypt. I do know that there are two different crypts, I think. Two different entrances, shall we say. So let's try and take this guy out as best we can. Whoa! I really do love the combat in this game. It is remarkably fun. Okay, so... No, we can take that iron sword. Why not? Let's pick it up. And what about that wooden shield? No, not really necessary, is it? Okay, so let's just head into our inventory here. We're gonna be eating something. Let's see. We could eat a fish. Yeah, why not? Let's eat that. Can we eat it? Yeah, yeah we, c we can actually eat it if we put it on our bar first, I think. Oh, there's a nice repost as well. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to be gaining a little bit of HP from that. And we're also now going to be heading on to the crypt. I think the crypt is over here, in actual fact. Oh my, we have skeletons. Okay, take them down, take them down. Thank you very much, crude axes. Ooh, a strong attack was able to kill him instantly. Wonderful. Okay, so as you can see, we can actually loot the bodies as well. Well, yeah, we can actually loot the bodies. Crude axes only, though. I think this is the crypto that they spoke of in the quest. So we're going to be heading inside. Uh, we have a couple more of these guys to deal with. Can I use magic against this fellow? Yes, I can, but it is not as effective as our slash right now. So we do need to pick up a couple more shards, I feel. I did receive a message regarding the magic saying that you would actually gain more power the more shards you would pick up. So let's hope that we actually come across a shard, but right now we are just dealing with the numerous amounts of skeletons within the crypt. And let's see if we can get a double hit on. Yes, nice double hit on these guys. I like that a lot. I really do love being able to hit more than one unit at a time. That is a very nice combat system right there. So let's head up here and see if there's anything that we can do. There is a small crack here, which I don't think we can do anything with. But is there anything else to do here? We have fought some skeletons. I have a feeling that there is something, but I'm unsure what. Well, the only thing I can say is that I have very much enjoyed the combat so far and we also need to ah maybe i need to go over there 
Well, whatever the case, I'll see you over at the other entrance. Okay, so we have reached the other entrance and we are probably not going to be fighting any skeletons. I'm actually wondering whether this is the correct crypt because I do know that there are two in the area and I thought this might be the one considering we do have a bunch of skeletons to fight and I really did actually appreciate fighting those. So yeah, that appears to be it. There is just a bottomless pit and abyss before us otherwise and we are not going to be venturing into that, that's for sure. I probably will at some point by mistake but obviously not this time, thank you very much. Okay, so otherwise, I suppose we could just explore. We could just head up here and see if we can find... Ooh, we can find some other things going on here. Look at the amazing water effects. I have to say, they are remarkably beautiful. And we can actually swim, too. So you don't just drown or fall to the bottom. That's wonderful. Okay, otherwise... Oh, no! Skeletons! Hello! No, no, no. Can we, yes, can we eliminate him? I don't know. He's a little bit more difficult than the standard skeleton. He took more than two hits to kill. Ah, who's this? We have a bandit? That is a bandit. There we go, take that guy out. Thank you very much. Oh, we have some gloves here. We are already using leather gauntlets, thank you. We have a nice leather chest piece, leather boots. Shoulders, we have shoulders. A leather belt? Yeah, we have a belt. Wooden shield? No, we're already using one of those too. Okay. Well, you never know. We may get an upgrade at some point. There must be something over here. Why would the bandit be here otherwise? Ooh. Oh? No? Nothing? Oh, well that's unfortunate, isn't it? I was anticipating something very, very nice there, but no such luck. Ooh, there is something nice here, though. We have a wooden chest, and we can actually loot it for a crude axe. Reduces armor by six on hit for eight seconds. That's actually really nice, but it does have less damage than what we were currently using. But there is a wonderful wooden shield, as you can see here. This actually deals 1.4% of damage taken back to the attacker, which is excellent. Anything else here? Well, there's a lantern. Not sure if I'm going to need one of those, but we may as well take it anyway. Nice wooden chest there, and that appears to be that. Okay, well, we can head along here. I'm not entirely sure whether we should head back inward. Yeah, I think we should probably head to the other crypt, because right now, obviously, we do want to complete the quest, and I did head back to the settlement. The NPC told us to head to the crypt and report back when... We had explored it fully, so I can only assume that I went to the incorrect one. So let's head back down here. I like that you can travel really fast in this game as well. You really don't have to wait too long to get anywhere because your sprint speed is very, very quick. I do like that a lot. Don't have to wait too much. And let's see, can we get around here? I saw the entrance, which I thought was the entrance, here. And there is a think going to be a golem down there as well. Isn't there a go Yes, there is a golem. Okay, we can actually just run by this guy. Is there anything here? I do know we checked beforehand, but I thought maybe with the update we might see something. But let's see if we're actually able to deal some damage. Okay, so we dealt 31 damage to him, which is not bad. Okay, a little bit of extra damage there. A little bit of extra damage. Maybe we'll be able to get a little bit more. Yes, go. Oh, no, don't get. Oh, no, don't get killed by the boulders. Don't get killed by the boulders. We bled a lot there. That was not good. Okay, come on, throw another one. Yes, I dare you. Oh, no, that was a miss. That was a bad miss right there. Okay. Yep, there we go. Yes. Oh, phew. That was close. That was close. Yep, another one. Another one. Yes, yes. Okay, now throw another boulder, please. Yes. Yes, roll out of the way. Roll out of the way. We can do this. Okay, he's getting low. He's getting low, I think. I have no idea. I think he is. I think he is. I think he is. We need to be very, very cautious. Very, very cautious. Yes. So far, so good. So far, so good. Is he dead? He's dead. Oh, yes. There we go. What do we get? 
we get a stone shard and it gives us stone skin and tremor. Okay, there we go. Shard spells. Excellent, look at that. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so now if we can head over here to our shards, there is stone skin. Let's put that on F, I suppose. Let's put the quest item in our inventory and we'll then take tremor and put that on C. Okay, so what does stone skin do? Well, I can only assume that makes it so that we have some armor. Ah, it moves us very, very slowly as well. As you can see, it reduces our movement speed. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Well, that's that's reasonable, i got to say. That's reasonable, because obviously we do want to make sure that we stay alive. And we've just eaten our fish as well. Maybe we could head over here. What is this? Another one! Oh, and, oh. W really? Really? We could have just headed into this small cave here and picked up this stone shard? Okay. Well, <laughs> what fun would that have been? Yes, okay, so let's just change that out. Ooh, that sword's actually really nice. Inflicts fire damage. Maybe we want to use that instead. Yeah, let's use the fire sword. Okay, there's a torch. Okay, I'm going to be dropping some stuff now because we really don't need any of these other common tunic things, villager things. We can just drop all of that. There is a common ring here. I'm not entirely sure where to put that. I'm not entirely sure if it does anything in actual fact. It doesn't... Ah, there we go. It doesn't seem to, but we may as well have it on there just in case. There's a torch. Let's take that. Okay. Well, we were able to defeat the golem this time with a little bit of extra effort, I suppose. Okay, so now let's use Tremor. What does that do? Oh, okay. That seems like a nice AoE ability. Okay, let's head over in this direction. Stone skin has worn off, so we are now able to run at full speed. Okay, I think we probably are going to get stuck here. I have a feeling that we're going to... Yes, we are somewhat stuck here, are we not? Yes, we are. Okay, all I need to do is quit to the main menu, and I'll see you back at the village. Okay, so as I now retrieved ourselves from the slight stuck area that I got myself into, I have decided... Now, to head along the path where we retrieved the note previously, because I feel as though there may be a crypt up here as well. You never know. Oh, we actually have a bandit attempting to assault us right there, but no such luck for them. Take that, bandit. Ah, here we go. This might actually be the place where we require our presence, maybe. Maybe. Oh, there's a shovel. Well, we probably need a shovel to dig something at some point, but I'm not entirely sure if I do right now. This appears to be some sort of excavation going on right here, so not really a crypt, not really what we're looking for. So let's head down here instead. There we go. Okay. Now, I have fought a couple of bandits so far, and... It seems as though they are starting to get a little bit more difficult. What is in here? Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just going to run around here and try and loot your shard. Oh my goodness, there's actually a lot of them. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Ow. Oh no, of course. Okay, well, I did a little bit of damage. Now, as you can see, my fire sword is actually dealing some pretty reasonable damage to him. No, no, do not get hit. Do not get hit by these guys. They are very, very powerful. Try and avoid them. Try and avoid them. There we go. Oh, we did get hit there. That's not good. No, that's not good. That is not good. And now he dies. Now he's dying and I'm sliding away. No! How dare you? How dare you slide me away while he's dying? Ah, uh, of course. Well, whatever the case, we are just going to respawn back in our area here. 
Okay, so we had a little crash there, but it really does not matter too much because obviously I was already dead. And so upon reloading, we are full HP. I obviously just got attacked when I was just starting the recording from a bandit, of course. So underhanded, are they not? Well, whatever the case, we do now have another bandit here and a special looking shrine that I would like to be able to find out what it is actually doing here. And... Then we will see if we can gain some power from it or something. I'm actually unsure what this could be. So let's try and jump from here. Okay. What is this? I actually have no idea. Hmm. Well, whatever the case, it looks very magical. Shall we try and blast it with magic? No, nope, that doesn't make any difference. What about tremor? That doesn't do anything either. Okay. Well, I can only assume that it has something to do with maybe boosting some sort of spell, perhaps? Well, whatever the case, it just shows that the world is chock full of various secrets and enemies that are very, very much wanting to attack you and kill you. So, yes, let's be a little careful, shall we? What is also mighty impressive is that the fish and various things that you actually need to stay alive actually respawn so you can quite easily get a good amount of health items and if you're not stupid like me then you might be able to survive longer if you don't get killed by a golem obviously yes getting killed by that golem was a severe mistake but thankfully enough this has now enabled us to explore a whole new area which i do very much appreciate especially seeing as we have now just gained a rare iron sword which I have to say is very, very nice. As you see here, it is actually incredibly nice because it has a 20% chance to deal 92% bonus damage as well as inflicting fire damage. So you can imagine, this is going to be very good. Oh yes, any bandit that come, comes across us now is just going to fall over. Hopefully. Well, let's see what actually happens, shall we? Okay, we have a, whoa, spectacular looking waterfall right here. Oh my, well, this is, as I say, a very beautiful game. And let's just see if we're able to make our way past the waterfall. We'll probably have to go across to the bridge. Maybe. Let's see if we can actually do that, shall we? Maybe. Huh? Yep. Maybe, oh, here's a path. And please don't, oh, okay. I was going to say, please don't kill me. <laughs> yes, fall damage. My mortal enemy is always around, ready to kill me at any turn. And this is the golem cavern once again, by the looks of things. So, let's see. Is this guy still damaged or is he full HP again? I don't know. Well, whatever the case. We're going to try our best. Okay. Okay, he's going to throw that again, unfortunately enough. Oh! Maybe we'll be able to avoid all of his blows this time. Oh no, I'm out of stamina! Of course. We must watch our stamina bar very, very closely. Make sure that we don't get too overzealous. Is he dead? Yes, he is dead. Wow, that was a lot easier with this new sword, I have to say. Okay, so the same spells, unfortunately enough, but... I'm unsure whether they are going to improve the amount of these spells that we have, or potentially maybe improve the strength of these spells. Maybe. Well, whatever the case, let us put them on our bar once again. Unfortunately, I removed it by mistake. Okay, so is there anything else in here? Probably going to be another chest, maybe with another shard, you never know. We might be able to find one. This is actually a very large area. Okay, we're using a torch. Probably not the best idea, I have to say, but it does show off a lot of the really nice lighting effects that the game has to offer. Maybe we can lure this guy out of his particular hiding space, and then we'll be able to run past him, perhaps. Yes, yes. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's run. Oh, here we go. There's a shard. Frost Nova! Excellent! Okay, oh no, there's a lot of cool things here. Okay, wait. 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 Oh no, we're gonna have to deal some damage to this guy now. Ow. How dare you. 
Okay, wait. Okay, we need him to just attack me in melee every single- Ugh! Not, oh, not every single time, please. Oh, no. There we go, he's dead. Oh, phew. Okay. Well, at least now we can actually loot the incredibly nice gear. And we can hopefully wear it with very, very nice effect. I would love to be able to use this chest piece. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Three health, go away. I want max regeneration. Thank you very much. And, oh, there's a, actually a lantern here as well. Should we... Wow. Okay, so we can actually use a lantern instead of a shield. I'm actually going to do that because, in my opinion, the shield... I'm not really using it. I'm not really blocking. I am evading more than anything, and that is exactly the reason why I like this game, because you are able to choose between evading, reposting, and obviously blocking. So let's just see here. Is this river going to kill me? Hmm. Maybe. No, it's not. Okay, excellent. Phew. Well... One thing it is doing is really, oh my goodness, it is really running very, very fast along here. Oh, there's a settlement over there. And it seems like an aqueduct as well. Shall we see if we can actually swim up river and see if we can get up on the bank somehow? Maybe we'll be able to. So far, it seems like we might be able to. Come on, we just need to get a little bit further. Yes, there we go. Okay, now we can jump on these things and we can make our way up. Yes, yes, get me up. Yep, there we go. Okay, we have some bandits. Oh, we have some Valaran soldiers who are dying very easily from our fire damage. <laughs> I have to say that is absolutely amazing. I do love the ragdolls. Oh, yes. Oh. Now, this is what I'm talking about. Valaran pauldrons. And a helm as well. And some gauntlets. And do we want to wear the leggings too? Well, I like the health restoration, to be honest, but I would like to wear the boots. And the shield looks incredibly nice, but as I've said, I do like using the lantern, so probably not going to be doing that. What about this? It does give us almost double the armor, so I think we're going to be using the chest piece. Shall we just use all of it? We have fish. So let's just use all of it, why not? And we'll take the shield anyway, and I'm going to be dropping some of these things here. And we'll take the mace just in case. Oh yes, mace just in case. Oh yes, bash some faces in with that. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, well we can take this fish, thank you very much. Now let's just see. Okay, hopefully we can act like one of them now. Don't mind me, I'm one of you. Oh, hello there. Carrots. I will pick some carrots. Okay, what is going on here? Ah, maybe we can enter that small abode over there. We can take this squash, though. I will take the squash. Inventory is now full, unfortunately enough. Let's enter this place. Okay, nothing in here just yet. Seems like a storeroom of sorts, perhaps. Okay, we've got some more Valaran soldiers down here, I think. Yep, this guy has a huge weapon. Oh, I love the way they die. Just, oh, yep. <laughs> he just goes floppity floppity. Oh, yes, that is the way to do it. Okay, so is there anything on this guy that I need to loot? Seems not. There is a Valaran greatsword, however, which is actually remarkably good. In terms of damage, at least. But I do really like the swiftness of our current weapon. But let's just continue making our way through their land. It appears like they are definitely wanting to stop us for whatever reason, but... Yes, we are just continuing onward. Yes, here we go. Hello there. There appears to be another one. Okay, take him out. Oh, yes. Ooh, there's two of them. Okay, let's see if we can take these guys out. Ouch. Ooh, yes, as you see, we just took a hit from that guy and almost died in one hit. So, yeah, need to be a little bit careful about taking damage from these guys. Okay, a couple more things in there. 
I'd like to get over to the windmill. I'm sure that if we can get on top of the windmill, then we are going to be seeing a very, very beautiful view, which would be very nice to see. Ah, there are no stairs. No stairs leading up there, unfortunately, but as you see, a gorgeous view, nevertheless. Fantastic. Well, there is actually a boat here as well. Hmm. Well, I suppose I will be ending this episode of here. That was an extraordinarily fun adventure. I really do like this game. And we are, yeah, we're going to be ending this off here. So I thank you very much for watching and stopping by to watch yet another episode of The Memory of Elderim. And be sure to check out the description for a link to the game itself. So I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you with my lantern next time.